Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Here we are again, going to discuss one of the topics of the sciences, and I'm calling it Men's Brains Change When They Become a Father. Hopefully this will be put out on Father's Day, unless there are any mishaps, any screw-ups. Hopefully it'll be on time. The article is from Big Think. It's by Jamie Bell. It's titled Dad Bod and Dad Brain, How a Man's Brain Changes When He Becomes a Father. The bonding experience is promoted by important neurological changes. And this gives you an option to listen to the article, which is interesting. I'll have the link into the podcast in the descriptions. The points are, in the first days and weeks of fatherhood, a man's testosterone and cortisol level decreases and oxytocin, estrogen, and prolactin levels surge, promoting an important bonding experience between a father and his newborn child. One of the most significant changes scientists have observed in the brain of a new dad mice is neurogenesis, the process of new neurons being formed in the brain directly linked to the time spent with their newborn pup in close proximity. Human males also bulk their brains with areas linked to attachment, nurturing, and empathy, showing increased gray and white matter. And the first title is What Happens in a Man's Brain When He Becomes a Father? A man's entry into fatherhood isn't accompanied by the same hormonal, physical, and emotional changes that a woman experiences through pregnancy, childbirth, and motherhood. But the changes that happen in the male brain due to fatherhood are no less important. In fact, researchers have recently been looking into the connection between a father and his newborn child, and there have been several studies that reveal a man's brain undergoes several changes in the first weeks of fatherhood. High functioning in the emotional processing networks in the brain. Here's a link here. In a 2014 study, researchers compared brain activity in 89 new parents as they watched videos of their children. This study would examine the mothers, who were in this case the primary caregivers, fathers who worked outside the home but frequently helped with the child care, and homosexual fathers who raised a child without the help of a female. In all three groups, the brain networks that are linked to emotional processing and social understanding were highly active. One of the most important notes from the study is that the fathers who raised a child without a female's assistance showed almost identical emotional processing signals in the brain that caregiver mothers did. Testosterone decreases, estrogen increases, causing a surprising effect. Psychologist Elizabeth Gould and her colleagues from Princeton University have conducted a series of studies that show there is an increase in estrogen, oxytocin, prolactin, and glutocorticoids in both animal and human fathers. Several studies, including this 2001 study by the Department of Biology, and there's a link there, at Queen's University in Ontario, have shown the male testosterone, known as the male sex hormone, and cortisol, a stressor hormone, levels to dip in the first weeks of fatherhood. While estrogen has been considered the female sex hormone, estradiol, the predominant form of estrogen, plays a key role in nurturing behaviors and male sexual function. When this form of estrogen is present in the male system, it promotes more nurturing behaviors in the father. Prolactin, referred to as the mom hormone that is used in the female system to promote lactation, also spikes in new fathers. According to a 2002 study, there's a link, lower testosterone levels and heightened prolactin levels in the male brain are associated with emotional responses to infant cries in new fathers. 
oxytocin spikes in new mothers, fathers, and babies, promoting bonding and empathy within the whole family unit. Oxytocin, commonly known as the love hormone, also surges in the male system after the birth of the child. This hormone surge has proven to promote bonding, empathy, and altruism in the new father. This 2012 study, where fathers who inhaled oxytocin secretly spike in the oxytocin levels in their bloodstream, proved that new fathers who experienced these changes in hormone levels were more engaging with their newborns. The research also concluded that this spike in oxytocin also had an impact on the newborn as well. Their oxytocin levels also spiked. The brains of new dad mice developed new neurons that help improve their memory and navigation systems. One of the most significant changes scientists have observed in the brains of a new dad mouse is neurogenesis, the process of new neurons being formed in the brain. The new neurons are formed have been proved to be directly linked to the time spent with their newborn pup in close proximity. In the 2010 study, neurogenesis took place in male mice in the first few days following the birth of their pups. However, this extra boost of brain cells only happened in the mice that stayed in the nest. Other male mice who were removed on the day of the pup's birth showed no new neuron changes. That's interesting. It's pretty cool. And there's a link to that study if I didn't say so. I'll continue. When the researchers allowed the father to be close to the pups without physical contact, placing a mesh barrier between them, no additional neurons appeared, proving the father had to be physically present in the nest and interacting with his pups to experience neurogenesis. You can read more about this interesting experiment in Scientific American, and there's a link. One of the new sets of brain cells formed were located in the olfactory bulb, which is responsible for how we process different smells and odors. And these new neurons were specifically turned into the smell of the mice's new pups, or tuned into the smell of the mice's new pups. Another of the new sets of brain cells grew in the hippocampus, which is part of the limbic system in our brain that plays a role in memory and navigation. Fatherhood also adds more gray and white matter to the areas of the brain that affect attachment. A 2014 study conducted at the University of Denver, and there's a link, by developmental neuroscientist Dr. Pil Young Kim examined 16 new dads, once between the first two to four weeks of becoming a father and again between 12 to 16 weeks. The study revealed not only hormone changes, but physical changes to the male brain during the first months as a father. Certain areas, the positive brain that are linked to attachment, nurturing, and empathy, showed more gray and white matter in the later test. This bulking of the brain, according to Dr. Kim, reflects a ramping up of parental skills in new fathers. This anatomical change in the brain may support the father's gradual learning experience over a period of many months, says Dr. Kim. It's incredible to know that in each new attentive father's brain, there is a special set of neurons that are dedicated to fatherhood and exist solely because of his child. Happy Father's Day. I hope people find it interesting. I did. It's right up my alley. I love all the neuroscience and brain stuff, and it's really interesting. I'm not a father. Although, my fiance who passed away, we lost a child was an atopic pregnancy and she had given me Father's Day cards after that so I thought that was cool this is interesting I love the way the brain can change adapt you know these evolutionary tendencies and how they form a bond it's so cool to see the the peel back and look at the brain as you know it's going through these changes all the studies all the links i go through them i find it fascinating for you fathers out there happy father's day i wish you all the best i hope this finds you and you find it somewhat interesting 
And it's a fucking long title for my podcast, so it looks funny, but I don't know any other way to put it. Maybe like a Happy Father's Day thing. Maybe I'll put that on the post, but good on you, everybody. Be the best fathers you can. It's all you can do. I wish everybody a Happy Father's Day. Until next time, stay safe.